Avanil Kumar and in this video we will understand how to rename numbers which are up to a million. So a million is a big number. We'll try to see how to write that number as some hundreds, some ten thousands like that. Correct? So that is the whole idea. You can actually copy and complete this table. We have a number here which is five million hundred and twenty three thousand. You have to write this as hundreds. Then the same number, 5,123,000, write it as 10,000s and 5,123,000 as a million, right? So that is what you have to do. Now to do this exercise, let's get back to the place value chart, right? So let me just draw a place value chart here. We know there are three periods in the, uh, we have periods of three units each. And in each we have ones, tens, and hundreds. Right? So we have ones, I mean ones is this side, ones, tens, and hundreds, and then again we have ones, tens, and hundreds, and then we have ones, tens, and hundreds, right? So let me write ones as O, oh, ones, I mean, let this be ones for us. Okay, we'll take, this is tens and hundreds, correct? Now the second period is for thousands, right? Let me write thousands here. And here also we have ones, tens, and hundreds, and then we have millions. Ones, tens, and hundred million, right? So that is how we read numbers. Okay, so so that is how we need the numbers. That is the rightmost side, which is ones for us. Now, if we have a number like five one two three zero zero zero, it's good practice to write the number from the rightmost side. So we have three zeros. Let me write three zeros here. Then we have 123, 123 in thousands and five in millions, right? So that is how we have a number which is 5,123,000. Correct. Now the question is how to write this number as hundreds? This is what you need to do. Once you have written the number, go to hundreds. This is hundreds for you, right? Put a decimal there. So we have this number on the left side of decimal as the number with hundreds. Five one two three zero hundreds, right? So that's the answer. Five one two three zero hundreds. So that is the number, right? So how many hundreds it has? So get rid of these two zeros. Put a decimal here. You get so many hundreds. If you multiply. 51230 by 100, what will you get? You'll get your number back, right? So it is the same number written in different name and that is why we call it renaming numbers. I hope the concept is clear. Now I'd like you to do part B and C. You can pause the video, answer the question, then look into my solution. Let me rewrite the number again so that we could write this as 10,000. So the number is 5123,000, five, right? Now we need to write this as 10,000. So where is 10,000? 10,000. So I'll put a decimal here after 10,000. So we get our number 512 decimal 3. So 512 decimal 3 is 10,000 equal to 5,123,000 is same as 512.3 ten thousands. You can check your solution using calculator. Multiply 512.3 by 10,000 means 10,000, right? Check what do you get. The last part here is to write it as millions. So the number is 5,123,000. To write it as millions, we should put decimal where? Immediately after millions, right there. So we get 5.123. So that is the answer. 5.123. So 5.123 times what? Should give you the number back? 1 million. 1 million is 1000, 1000. Do you see that? 1 million is 1 million is 1000, 1000. So 1000. So when you multiply with this, you will get your number back. So that means all these ways are representing the same number 
so we also call it renaming numbers and that is how you can rename numbers up to a million i hope you understand and appreciate it thank you and all the best